Hey everybody and welcome to part 2 of Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage. This is Nostalgic Scott coming to you guys with another nostalgic episode of a nostalgic game. Today we'll be going to the first level that we can actually 100% complete and that is Colossus. Let's dive right into this epic spot. 155 gems. Beautiful. Do, 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 do. Save complete. Oh, there's also little cutscenes per level too. Hmm, a Yeti. I wonder if that person's name is Yeti Bobetti. Well, let's talk to this guy. A Yeti has been rampaging around our home, but we've managed to trap him by shutting all the doors. If you talk to the other brothers, they will open the gates and guide you to him. He clearly said doors and then call them gates. <sighs> Make up your mind, you damn brother. Burned your butt. Because that's what we do here in Spiral Land, is we burn butts. Yeah, this is going to be the first of a few levels you can actually 100% here. And all these guys do is they tell you that they can open up the doors. It's like, watch what I can do. Should I do this? I can do this. Watch me, I'm pro. That's about all they do. Money! Money, money, money! Donald Trump for president. Oh wait, that already happened. Oh shit, it was supposed to be a joke? Yeah, unless you guys don't have Trudeau, he's even worse. He gives away all our country's money. There's nothing there, right? Ah, you're telling me there's gems right here. Ooh, tens. Big chunk de la change. Who needs a key? Yeah, who needs a key when you know how to do this? And let me guess, yeah, the rat, the ox are too, or yak. I they were ox. Anyways, the yaks are too big to be charged, so you have to flame them, obviously. If you've ever played Spyro before, then you know that. Also, we fought one before, so I don't know why she's telling us that now. Each time. Yeah, we also dealt with these uh, power-up portals beforehand, too. Like, I don't get why they tell you all this information after you've already used them. Wouldn't it make more sense to you know, tell us back in level 1, not level 2? This actually is level 2, by the way. This is officially level 2. Boom. Another 1-up. And now it's 7 lives. It's not like Mario, where you just collect a bunch of coins and level up. It's, it's not that easy, though. You could literally just sit and farm fodder. It does spawn back. And stop running into the damn Buddha statue, Spyro. Hey! Hey, look what I can do. Literally, I said that. I told you they'd say something like that. The music is, eh, it's a mad trap for Spyro. Not really anything memorable, but, oh yeah, remember Hunter's advice. That's if you actually did that Hunter spot, you know? If you didn't, then, well, there's no advice. God damn it. Oh, looks like I need a penguin. Give me a, a butterfly penguin. I forgot when they actually tell you about Sparks. Sparks plays a way bigger role in every other Spyro game after this one. Now to get that, we're actually going to need to go into here. But yeah, only three minutes in we actually beat the level. <laughs> Seems a little too fast, don't you think? I thought the Yeti was tougher than that. I guess he was all bark. Ro -ro. <laughs> anyway, I was just guarding our sacred talisman to make sure the Yeti didn't eat it. Okay, because yetis eat talismans, and I like that bark sound effect you made, and it's a little Buddha statue. Alright, cool. Nothing super exciting, but eh. Some of the talismans are actually really pretty. Oh, now ice is introduced in this game. You can't jump on ice, you can't run on ice or charge on ice, all you can do is flame. Uh, ice is then like, eh, I don't really think it's used much in this game, but it's used a lot in Spiral 3. Ah, we have one of our challenges. Let's do this. Ah, Spyro, welcome! We have found that hockey is a peaceful and calming sport. Would you like to join in a match against our goalkeeper? Eh, sure, why not? We just have two minutes to score five goals. 
And then you have another challenge like this, but it's to uh, actually beat a game against a dog. Trust me, your goalie's an idiot. See, that would be bullshit if, like, he could score too, because he would always score just by the way he throws the puck. I don't know how this is a peaceful sport, and... Are the are they characters here dogs? I really think they are. Like, the goalies and the hockey players are just big bulldogs. <clears throat> and these brother dudes are literally just smaller dogs. Why they're in the mountains in the Himalayas, I do not know, but they are. Also, I believe there's a skill point for either beating it in a certain amount of time, or um, making the other guy get no goals on you. I can't quite remember. Might be before, like, the minute mark, you know? The minute... Before you, or, like, if you have a minute or more left. Boop. Okay, last one. Dun. Dun, 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 dun. I don't know if it's on this one. I have a feeling it's on the other one, but whatever. And there we go. That should be our first orb. For this level, at least. And now, we have the ability to... <clears throat> or the ability. The mission to do it again, this time with a goalie. Or, a goalie? Jeez Louise. Well, we have a goalie. But I mean, like, an opponent. Come on, Puck. Man! Dude, what the hell is this game? Thank you. I don't know what was going on there, but we weren't picking it up. More flaminating. Come on, hit it right towards me, bro. There we go. And he can't take damage. He can hit you and make you spit the puck out, but he's not going to hurt you. Hey. Oh yeah, that was beautiful. That is what I'm talking about, Spyro. God damn it. Don't you dare score on my net. Can you guys stop hitting the puck around to each other, please? It's more like the goalies are playing hockey than me and the other guy. Dude, you can hit it towards me. You do know that, right? There we go. Skill point. And our second orb. There's only one orb remaining. I might actually be able to beat this level in around 10 minutes, which means we can then get a little more done in this episode. A little more than I was actually intending. So that's always good news, when you can get more done than you want to, or than you intended to, because you can leave your friends behind. Because if your friends aren't my friends, well then they're definitely not my friends. I don't know what I'm rambling on about anymore, guys. I apologize. Hey, Professor, how you doing? Huh. Now, this difficulty is weird, because it's the same difficulty as the hockey one, but you can't actually lose. All you have to do is flame these statues, and get rid of the little specter that popped up into them. Or that, you know, took shelter among them. Really don't get how that's supposed to be challenging, but... There's also a hidden one up here, for those who didn't know. Let's grab that, flame you. Now there's another one just down here. Right there. So we're already at four. Oh, there's the fifth one. I don't know, challenges like this are like really easy but fun at the same time, you know? I like them. And there's a rocket. For rockets, you just flame them, and they'll go to their destination. Which will be those weird crystalline gem things that hold gems, actually. They're not gems themselves, they just hold in gems. Well, you're actually the last enemy in the entire level. There might be some gems hidden around here that we can pick up. There we go, there's all the gems of the level. Sweet! And this guy over here, and then I believe there's, what, two left after? No, three. Yeah, three. I know exactly where all three of them are. Boom, chakalaka. One's over here. And the other two are in front of that fortress-type place. 
And there we go. That is 100% done on the level. Well Give me my orb, bro. Now all we have to do is leave the level. Well, he just killed his buddy. That's not very nice. And 400 gems. Now, what I recommend you do is go over here and pick up swimming. Hello there, Spyro. Would you like to learn to swim underwater? I suppose I could teach you for ahem, a small fee. 500 gems. Now all you do is you... I'll, I'll explain to you guys. He talks way too slow. So you, you just go in the water, press square to dive, press square to charge, triangle to do absolutely nothing, circle blows bubbles, and X to go really slow if you want to. Though I don't believe there's actually any purpose to going slow. I really don't. I don't actually think there is. I don't think it ever actually benefits you anywhere in the game. Or any Spyro game to be exact. Oh, more gems. Don't mind if I do. I'm always hungry for these candy colored jewels of awesomeness. Oh yeah, this concept. Hit a button on a gate and or for a gate and it changes the gate. And this is just about oh literally about collecting stuff. And then Hunter in here, he'll just literally explain to you that you can change your camera angles. So in any anyways we have Sunny Beach and Huracost. Huracost is a bland level, Sunny Beach is a cool level. Like it's fun, but it's another level that you can't hundred percent until you get to the second world. So don't worry if you want to rush those levels, you can. It's not like the end of the world if you do. That's a speedway, we'll be back for that later. Now to get a hidden orb around here, what you have to do is you actually have to go and glide around here because the door, if you flame that button, it will open up the door, but then it'll close this door. Um, yeah, there's also more money bags here, I believe. It's 400 gems to open this area? Yeah, we need to open it to get to another level. I believe this is Aquaria Towers. Yeah, Aquaria Towers. Another one of those levels that it's a very cool concept and very smooth uh, to play for being an underwater level. But it's one of those levels that uh, just is so blandly designed. Like, color-wise, it gets boring. A great level, though. Oh, I want that gem, thank you. Yeah, 110 on the button. So anyways, now what we can do is, before continuing on any further, we can go open up the speedway and do it. I believe we can. Nice work. I don't know, like, when you get towards, like, the middle of the game, like, the requirements for a lot of things are, like, eight orbs, and you're like, well, eight orbs? If I just do levels half-assed, I can have eight in, like, two levels, man. Now for this, what you have to do is you have to go through everything. I believe, do you get gems for this? I believe you do. I believe the time trial one is still worth gems. In the third game, they actually got rid of the whole, um, like, give you time. They just gave you a bigger time frame. So it's about the same difficulty of challenge, you know? Yeah, and this game can actually supercharge. Woohoo! So... Let's kill these guys. I don't even know what these guys are. Sea lions, otters, turtles. I have no clue what they are. So anyways, we got the boats, the cars, and the rings. And we, all we need are these arches. I'm not talking about the golden arches from McDonald's. No, I'm talking about these weird electrified buzzing arches. I don't know, the music sounds a lot like Spiral 1. But the level looks totally different. Like, Spyro, Spyro 2 and 3 look similar, but not with Spyro 1, you know? And there we go. Oh, and we got a skill point, apparently. 
Now, to find the secret orb, all you have to do is fly over yonder to that ladyfish. That sexy ladyfish. Hey, sexy ladyfish. I guess now you think you're pretty good. Well, let's see if you're as good as the current champion. I wonder who the current champion is. Mm. Let me guess, it's Hunter. Yeah, see, Hunter, this is why you can't do anything, because you just always goof around. Like, you fly places. Couldn't Hunter just give me the orb? Like, do I actually have to keep up with Hunter? You don't actually beat Hunter, you literally just do as good as Hunter, but slightly as good. You, you go in the same rings as him, pretty much. Obviously, he's ahead of you, so he's all obviously gonna win, but... I don't know, I find it weird that, you know, we're not actually meant to beat him, we're just meant to keep up with him. Whee! It's actually one of the more difficult challenges that it gives you throughout the speed race. I believe there are... Whoa. I believe there are actually four speedways, three worlds, four speedways. I believe that's how it is. Not very many in this game, to be honest, but... They're a lot better than they were in the first game, that's for sure. And zoom. And zoom. Can I actually beat you? Nice, you can't actually beat him. But anyways, there's our secret orb. And now we just quit. And we get to leave. Now we're back at 510 gems. So, uh, yeah. I think we can do one more level here, I believe. Let's go do it, I guess. I have the time to record, so let's do it. We can swim if you want to. We can leave. Actually... Eh, no, it would take too long. So anyways, in the next episode, what we'll be doing is we will be going to the level known as Idle Springs, which is right here. So like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys back here for some more Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage.